murder trial is set to start today in San Angelo with uh, deep ties to our area. This case goes back nearly three decades. That's when Michael Morton was first convicted in the death of his wife, Christine, in Williamson County. Now, he uh, wrongly served 25 years for the murder, but thanks to the reexamination of the case, DNA evidence pointed to that new suspect there, Mark Norwood. Jury selection gets underway this morning about three and a half hours away from Austin in the West Texas town of San Angelo. And KXN's Chris Sadiq is there with a closer look. In an effort to find an impartial jury, the judge felt that this trial should be moved here to the Tom Green County Courthouse. If that sounds familiar, this is the same courthouse where five years ago the FLDS church hearings took place after the state raided the church's ranch. And now this remote West Texas area known as the Concho Valley will play host to another high-profile court case. Mark Norwood will be tried for the murder of Christine Morton. By now, we know the Michael Morton story. He was the one who was tried and convicted for the 19. 86 murder, but DNA evidence set him free and turned the focus towards Norwood, who has a long criminal history and is also a suspect in another murder, that of Deborah Baker in 1988. It will be a unique situation trying a case 27 years after the crime happened. Besides the DNA, it remains to be seen what evidence arises in this trial that was not heard when Michael Morton was wrongfully convicted. Prosecutors in this case are not seeking the death penalty. Jury selection will begin on Monday. Stay tuned to KXAN. We will be here covering this trial with all the highlights of the evidence and testimony as the next chapter in the Michael Morton story unfolds. We're in San Angelo, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.